Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Long time no see. I'm back with another toy review, and I got something special today. Today, we're taking a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Mini Mates Deadpool Assemble 4-Pack. This is the Mini Mates exclusive from this year's San Diego Comic-Con International out uh, in California. I actually forgot I had this ordered. Uh, I pre-ordered this a while back and came home today and saw the box sitting in front of the house, so... Really excited to tear this box open and take a look at what was inside, and I was not disappointed. I'm a really big Deadpool fan, so when I saw this, it was a no-brainer to pick up, and I'm not disappointed at all with the purchase. Uh, as you can see, this set is basically just four different versions of Deadpool as different Marvel characters. Uh, I, I think it's funny because with the exception of Cable Pool back here, we've got Cap Amera Pool, Thor Pool, and what was this one called? This is Phoenix Killer Iron Deadpool. So more or less Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. You have Deadpool as the three main members of the Avengers. And then you have Cable Pool over here, which is Deadpool just kind of dressed up as his buddy uh, Cable. Uh, I was not initially, when I first saw Minimates in the stores, I was not a big fan. I usually passed up the sets. Uh, but I said, this, one, this one I had to pick up because it looked like it was a lot of fun. And it is. I've been messing around with it since I got home with uh, got home from work, and I've enjoyed it. There, there's some nice little things going on here. Um, so we'll just we'll start off. Uh, I'll start with Captain Ameripool over here. So this is of course Deadpool as Captain America. It's got some really nice detail going on here on the top with the star. It's that scaly texture that Captain America um, has on his costume. Even on the the head here, he's got the little feathers wing things like captain america has which is really cool he's got the belt i've heard a lot of people complaining about these belts on mini mates for deadpool but i don't know i don't think these are, are uh, too bad uh he's got the deadpool logo belt buckle you can see right there the shield is really cool too i really like the way the shield looks it's you know it's cap shield but it's done in deadpool colors it's got a really nice deadpool emblem right there put it over the back and see more of that scaly texture. He's got the stars, and he's got like the Captain America esque boots. Um, one thing that was really neat that I just discovered while I was setting up for this video is that he actually has a removable mask. So if you come right here, you take off this. I'm just kind of wiggling off. There you have Deadpool's scarred, mutated face, which I thought was really nice touch. And he's got a little hole on top, and there's a peg inside the mask there. And then when you're done, you just kind of you know, slide it back over. And there's that. There's, there's Deadpool as Captain America. Uh, next, we're going to take a look here at Thorpool. Now, Thorpool, this made me laugh when I saw this. Because it's as you can see here on the hammer, it's got a little inscription. And uh, if you've seen the... the I, I'm not terribly familiar with the comic book character. But in the movie, when Odin threw Thor's hammer down to Earth, he said, whoever possesses this hammer, should he be worthy shall possess the power of Thor. Well, on here, they have something a little bit different. It says, Whoever holds this hammer, if he be unworthy, he shall possess the power of Thorpool. I, I don't know exactly <laughs> what powers Thorpool wields, but uh, I, can't, I can't imagine it's terribly good. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is actually a nice little figure. I like the, the way that they molded the cape. And he's got this golden mullet holding going on back there. Uh, he's got the white wings and a red cap instead of like all silver like Thor's is actually supposed to be. Um, he's got a neat little, you know, I like the hammer. Hammer's got some nice molded detail on there. It looks like, you know, cracks in there like stone. He's got the little, little whip thing hanging off the edge. So, yeah, this is kind of cool. I really like that one. Uh, up next, we're going to take a look at Phoenix Killer Iron Pool, which is... This right here, which is this is whoop. Let's see, this is this is the only gripe I have out of this set is that um, Iron Pool. We're just gonna call him Iron Pool. Iron Pool doesn't really like staying together. Uh, he's got these flat robot feet here, and as opposed to everyone else who's got like the regular feet, they, when you peg the the clear bases in, they hold really well. Iron Pool here, it's really shallow, so when you go and you, you plug it in, it doesn't take a lot to knock it out. And then this is actually like, two, this is designed to come apart, but this top portion here, 
it's like, you know, well, first we'll take a look at this. You know, this is the uh, Tony Stark's Iron Man suit for fighting Phoenix. You see, like, the, the helm, the head up there is painted to look like Deadpool. He's got the emblem right there. And then this actually opens, and you can see Deadpool sitting inside. And he's wearing his X-Men uniform from when he was trying to join the X-Men in the comics, which I find is funny. And that actually plays into um, another bonus feature later. So here's that, you know. But like I said, it, it doesn't really secure together very well. I mean, like, there's there's nothing to secure this to the rest of the figure. So when you're messing with it, it is just going to kind of wobble around. Take that off. Take a take these guns off. Get a closer look at the top part of the armor here. This is detailed very, very nicely. I like all these little mechanical bits that they got. On the back here, you got, you know, big uh, big old thrusters. And you got, not sure what these are supposed to be, but they're there. They're cool looking. So, yeah, nice little um, mechanical details. And then here's a closer look at Deadpool. It's kind of, you know, without the armor, it looks like he's just kind of going like, Hurg! Um, so yeah, this is cool. There's another feature about this figure that we'll come back to in a minute. So let's put these back on there. Oops. Give him back his guns. Stand him off to the side. Now, he can't actually stand pretty well without his base, because he's got the big old robo feet. So, focus. Focus, camera. So, there's that. And then we're going to come here to my personal favorite out of this set. This is Cable Pool. This is Deadpool dressed up as um, probably the closest thing he has to a friend, uh, Cable. So, you know, you can see you know, this this vest that he's wearing is really, really nicely detailed. Lots of little bits and pouches and a whole bunch of stuff on there. He's got the Deadpool logo right there in the middle. Uh, you come around here to the back. He's got more pouches and what's it? And he's even he's got some storage. Um, now this this kit comes with a lot of weapons and cable pools actually got storage required, but he's got holsters on his legs. He's got stuff on his back. He's got pegs. Weapons are just falling off here. Um, and then up here on the shoulder, you see there's that port. You take one of his guns and just slide it in there like that. And now he's got a big mofo shoulder gun, which I think is pretty cool. This is, like I said, this is personally probably my favorite Deadpool in the set. Um, so there's that. And now for that bonus feature I was telling you about. Push these guys back. Like that. This is the tray. It has all the accessories, and I was already kind of rooting through this, um, so like stuff's kind of bobbing around. But oops, um, and on the back here you see he's like got lots of guns. He's got some lightsabers kind of bobbing around in there. He's got a bag. He has um, a action piece like he's whipping the hammer around, and then another base for Iron Pool that's supposed to make it look like he's flying. You got some katanas. You got some other random bits and pieces in here. We're gonna show those off. But before I, I get and show you the uh, the extra figure that you get out of this set, let's go ahead and take a look at these couple of action pieces that you get. So, to the side. so first we'll take a look at this. This is kind of cool. This is, you know, like I said, this is supposed to be representing, you know, taking the hammer and just kind of whipping it around. What you do is you just come here. Move that. Try and get in here. Popped his arm off. That actually might make it easier. Oh, there we go. Brand new figure, so everything is nice and tight. Okay, so as you see, the hand just comes off. It just pegs right in the arm. And then you take this bit, got the little post, and stick it in there. Stick it in his arm. Like that. And then we'll just we'll, we'll reattach his arm to his body. Come on. Reattach. There we go. And now you have Thorpool swinging his hammer around, getting ready to cause some damage. That's the last thing that we need. Deadpool with Thor's hammer. Okay. So now, coming over to this guy, Ironpool. Take his feet, 
put them together or reasonably together. You also get this piece, which is, you know, it's just supposed to make it look like he's flying. At least I'm assuming this goes to uh, to this piece because actually there's no instructions in here to show you like what goes where. It's just kind of like here are the bits have fun. So you have that, which is kind of cool looking, unless it's supposed to go to Thor pool also, in which case, you know, it's got the, the little peg. So we'll just take this, take off the base, put his feet together. Boom. And now you have that. Which is like, that's actually kind of cool looking. Flinging the hammer around, flying, getting ready to cause some mayhem and destruction. So, okay, now back to this guy. Push this stuff off to the side. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that this figure kind of, this one falls apart easily, which is okay because it turns into a bonus figure. So what you do, you take this part off, put it to the side. Um, the gauntlets here on his arms come off. Like that, they just slide out. Um, separates from the base like that. And then in the package, you get you know, the waist piece. And you see this has got a, um, an X on it for X-Men. It just slides right in like that. And take his legs from Iron Pool. These pop off. Put, that to this, put these parts off to the side. Keep everything together. Now, all these armor bits on the leg, they just come right off. Like that. Which leaves you with just some regular old legs. And then you just take these. Pop them on the ball joints. Like that. Uh, you're going to take the extra feet. You're going to attach them to the figure. Like this? What does this maybe go on this side? Oh, I think it goes on like that. So you're gonna put it on like that. We get his other foot out of here. Trying too hard not to rip the packaging apart because I'm actually gonna display these guys in box. Because you know, being a Comic Con exclusive, I, I'd hate for something to happen to it. Let's see, how's this? How are these pegged together? I think this peg's a little, this peg might be a little warped, so we'll just do our best to get it in there, maybe, no. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, well, close enough. Okay. <laughs> so, we get we got his gimpy feet on, and then grab his hands, give him his hands. foot fall off again. Oh, he doesn't need a foot. And then there is X-Men Deadpool sans one foot that will not attach. Um, it also comes with an extra head. So if you don't want him given like that, that what the hell look, this just pops off. This one. Um, there we go. That's kind of stiff. You pop that one on, and you got Deadpool with an alternate look. Now, also too, I'm assuming that you know, since these all are basically the same mold, you can interchange parts between them. So, like, if you have Cable Pool and you just want a regular Deadpool, you should be able to just aha, you can. You can just pop the head off, put a regular Deadpool head on, and now you just have a really beefy, angry, confused-looking Deadpool, which is kind of cool. I, I like that. They gave you that option. Now, oh, now it's going to be hard to get the head back on because I didn't have a lot of wiggle room. There we go. Now, for articulation on these figures, um, lots of ball joints going on, so you have a bit to do. You know, get the head moving around like that. Arms can go all the way around. Have the elbow joint. Hands can go all the way around. Got a waist swivel. Hips are on a ball joint. Knees can go down like that and nothing at the foot 
So that's articulation with these guys. Um, I really like the set. I, I really, if you're a Deadpool fan, this I, I highly recommend this. Um, Big Bad Toy Store. I got my set from Big Bad Toy Store. Last I saw, they were in stock. Um, so I said, if you're a fan of Deadpool and you want this set, I would recommend grabbing it before they sell out and then you have to go and buy it off eBay or something and have to pay ridiculous amounts of uh, money for it. So yeah, I think I think this is about $20 set, $22. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I, I highly recommend it. Let's see, I'm just trying to get Deadpool back together here. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, uh, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Deadpool set and I'm just gonna put trying to put iron pool back together here which which I'll do later he's just kind of gonna chill in pieces but there's that so yeah highly recommended if you like Deadpool pick this set up I didn't really like mini mates but after getting the set and playing with them I might have to pick up a couple more because they're a lot of fun they're fun little toys so there it is if you like the video please there's a button down below. There's a subscribe button right there. Click that. There's also a like button down there somewhere. Click that. Um, I'll also throw a link to Big Bad Toy Store's page where you can order this set if you'd like to get one of your own. So there it is. Hope you liked the review, and I will catch you next time.